Hi Libra, how are you? This is your daily tarot card reading. It's the weekend reading. We just had the full moon. So I feel quite, I feel it's very magical. I feel, I feel spirit very, very close in these readings this morning. So um, yeah, it's very interesting what's coming out in the readings. They're all very, um, very interesting this morning. So let's see what we get for Libra then. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for subscribing and supporting. <laughs> Libra, this is oh this one. You've got the wedding card. <laughs> wedding. <laughs> this is a long term, a long term situation here. You two, you two have been together in a past life, and you didn't separate in that life either. <laughs> That's very interesting, isn't it? Uh, right, let's see what goddess energy you're getting, Libra. <laughs> play so that's that's the way forward I love this card I even drew this card actually last I think it was about a year ago I drew this because I loved it so much play oh my god laughter you're starting to connect with your own inner joy and you're starting to enjoy life more Libra and um yeah that's amazing because once you start to do that uh, and I've got loads of Libra in my chart, and I know that's what I'm doing right now. Um, once you start to find that, it's just a snowball effect. It just it just gets stronger, stronger, stronger. It means you'll be manifesting love, abundance, the lot, because, you know, it's, it's just you found it in you rather than trying to get it from other people. Um, <laughs> the pook. <laughs> right, this is interesting. This is an interesting one. You could have somebody around you that's you know, or, or a situation where it's like, it's not really ideal, you know, uh, there could be somebody that's got shadow sides to them or a situation that's got a shadow side to it. But spirit is reminding you with that card that there is good and bad and there is bad and good, you know, and that's the strange topsy turvy way of the matrix. You know, while we're here on Gaia, things are not always what they seem. So, um, you know, you you know you're able to kind of keep in a playful energy and this joyful energy even if there's some shadowy stuff still around because you know that's part of living in the matrix that there is this kind of good and bad and bad and good sort of it's quite strange and and maybe things that seemed really bad for you have actually got a strange way of turning out good so you've got the queen of swords this is you laying down your boundaries and being much more solid you know, much more real with your energy and you're just not letting people take advantage. Knight of Swords, um, Spirit's sort of telling you to slow down here. Just have a think about what you're doing. Slow it down. You could be attracting an ex or basically, like I said, I think there's somebody who keeps thinking they're gonna just like leave you or they just think it's gonna end, but I really don't think it will because this is such a strong past life connection I'm picking up on. Um, and there is a lot of healing going on right now, like massive healing because there's obviously been a hell of a lot of pain here in your life, um, but also in probably in this relationship. Um, but it's like mental because it's sort of healing and um, it's, it's healing quite fast as well, but you just need to slow it down. Just slow it down and take time. Don't You don't need to rush it because you found the joy in yourself already. So that's, that was really what you were looking for all, all along. Um, now there's somebody here that's just not cooperating with you over the weekend. So that might be quite irritating. Oh, and it might trigger you quite badly because it's just fallen on top of the Knight of Swords. So you may feel quite triggered over the weekend, you know, that somebody is not com communicating with you or um, working with you. But tarot showing it's both of you just need a bit of healing this weekend and that's why this is happening so don't rush it don't don't get triggered by it you know you've got the soulmate cards you you've got the wedding card and the soulmate card libra like this is this is just the way life is now okay um let's have a look you know the reason why things were bad was because you didn't know uh your connection to spirit like not deeply enough and and now you found it 
no one's gonna ever um, sever it again. I'm going through an awakening, you know, this is your person, they are going through some kind of awakenings themselves. Um, let's see the, you know, advice from spirit. Keep turning your attention inward because, you know, you don't need this person to give you the love. Like, even though they're going to be there, <laughs> they're going to be there forever. Like, this person isn't going. Um, and I don't say that often because I don't really like to encourage attachment. But the thing is, you don't need the attachment anymore because you found you. You found the self, you know, self-realisation. So, and remember your alignment. Remember your alignment is coming inwardly. Um, I know you know what I'm talking about, so I don't need to explain it because I think you've already found it. You've figured it out. You know, you've figured out the puzzle of what's going on here on Gaia. Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance. Whoa, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Yeah, it is a snowball. Like I said, it's a snowball and it's just gonna keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. You know, that the obstacles are just being removed more and more because you've you've made the connection into the self, you know, and so it's like you're tapping into the you're tapping into source, which is uh the eternal flow of abundance, because it source is eternal. And once you tap into that, which you have, uh, you know, that's why obviously it it's like yeah, things on paper aren't looking fantastic right now, <laughs> but you're just in this transitionary point. Um, you know, everything's increasing for you. So this this connection will just get better and better, really. Uh, well, it, it won't go anywhere anyway. It certainly won't go anywhere. Um, but don't focus on it. Don't focus on it. Just keep keep focusing on the source energy flowing through you. And that's all you need to do. So that's the message. If you do like it, Libra, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you'd like a one to one tarot, I'm here. Contact me. You can book in. And I'm sending you lots of love and peace wherever you are on Gaia, as always. <laughs>